morning welcome to another vlog of mine today i'm gonna be working from home and i wanted to show you guys what that kind of looks like for me but we're gonna have to start the day with some skincare first my skin has been doing not so well so i'm trying to just pay more attention to my skincare and i'm also trying out some new products so i need to be like a little consistent with it to see if they actually work out for me or not i'm really curious if this is gonna work for me because it's a dark spot correcting serum and i do have dark spots especially around my nose so i'm hoping that that might clear up a little bit more as i use this i've also been trying out a new moisturizer but since this is a balm i feel like it might be too heavy for my skin and it might be causing some of the breakouts that i'm having but i'm not sure because it does say dry and sensitive skin types which my skin is definitely a sensitive skin type skin type skin type but i'm not sure if that means that it's also good for acne prone skin and i have a shoot tomorrow so i'm not gonna use this today okay that's the conclusion and because i did use the dark spot correcting serum which has niacinamide in it i do have to use sunscreen even though i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave the house or not today but let's just put it on just in case I realized that most of my skincare now is back to Korean skincare, which I actually stopped using for a few years. But I'm kind of loving the return of the Korean skincare because I realized that it does actually cater to sensitive skin types like mine. Whereas Western skincare tends to be a little bit more harsh in my opinion. So I feel like my sensitive skin cannot really take that. It might dry my skin out or it breaks out or things like that. So I feel like we're going to be in a Korean skincare for a while now. So I always like to start my mornings with hot water. This is my work from home outfit for today. For the vlog though, I did try to wear something a little bit more fun instead of always my usual t-shirt with lounge pants combo. So I basically just put on a blouse to make it look a little bit more work from home office. But don't be mistaken, I normally just wear a t-shirt. So yeah. Today I'm actually working from the living room. I normally have an office room. Here we have my office room and as you can see, it's chaotic. It's a mess because I am packing already to move out. I actually kind of like working here because I feel like my living room is very cozy compared to my office room where I feel like it's a little bit more cold because it's in the shadows. So right now I need to work a little bit, so let's do that. I've just been working and basically since I work from home, my work is literally just sitting behind my laptop and doing stuff. So it doesn't seem as interesting because I cannot show you what I'm doing because it's a client's project. So I cannot really show you the information that I'm working with. But basically what I normally do from a day to day is that I build low code applications. And that means that every day or yeah, every day I'm just basically building new stuff into the application that we need. And that's my usual day with like some meetings here and there. But today is actually different from those other days where I'm just building because yesterday I actually finished building something. And then when you start testing what you have built, it might be that you come across errors and like bugs is what we call it. I'm not sure if that's very IT coded, but it means that some of the stuff that I built has caused something else to maybe not work or not function as well. Or I noticed that it all of a sudden is not functioning well. So today I'm basically working on trying to solve everything that I've seen. And also this week we have one of the applications already live and that one is very busy in use at this time of the year. So whenever something comes up over there, uh, we need to kind of, depending on how urgent it is, we need to kind of like drop our work and like 
make sure that we can help out there and see what the problem is and make sure to fix it right away. And this week and the last week, I was kind of like the designated person to be on standby. If anything happens, I will try to resolve it or look at it at least. So just now I was in a meeting with my um, uh, client and we were just looking at something that happens on the live application and uh, luckily it wasn't something super crazy it, so that was an easy one and then the rest of this day i will just be working on trying to resolve my own errors that i made with the stuff that i have been building and yeah these days are kind of like a little bit more mentally draining because you have to do a lot of brain work because you have to kind of like find out where in your coding or where in your whole low code coding thing something is going wrong and what is it affecting and you have to also test everything to make sure that everything that you've built so far is still functioning because it's kind of all related to each other within one process so that's a little bit more break work brain work than the usual if i have to build something and i'm kind of already um knowledge on what i have to build and it's kind of like making the hours to make sure that you can build it but you don't really have to do that much of the brain work but on days where you have to try to resolve issues it can either take a whole day to try to find out where it's going wrong or it can be something very easy where you can kind of like know right away oh this and this is happening because this of this but what i have to do today is kind of like the long run thing where i know there's something going wrong and it's affecting a lot of things and i need to like check a lot of stuff so yeah that's today but it's almost the weekend so i think we can just pull through for today and i love working from home because i just feel so cozy in this environment so we're just gonna have a cozy work from home day basically i have my hot water but it's actually right now already time to do my lunch break so let's prepare for lunch i went to the japanese supermarket and i got these japanese breads this is a matcha corn so it has matcha inside and this is the vanilla pudding corn and then it has vanilla inside of here i think these are sweet breads but i'm having these for lunch anyway because it's nice and easy so let's bring this over to the couch because that's where i always have my lunch when i work from home i just sit here and i watch the television something said that happened like literally a week ago as we are about to move out is that all of a sudden it doesn't want to connect to our wi-fi anymore so norm this is a smart tv i would normally just be able to turn it on and watch something but now i have to use my laptop to kind of guide whatever i want to watch basically just screen mirroring from my laptop so i guess that's what we got to do if we want to enjoy a little bit of television i'm currently waiting for new episodes from queen of tears that's my favorite current k-drama i love the actors i love the plot and all the stuff but that's not coming out until tomorrow so i'm gonna watch young lady and gentleman which is an older drama but did recently got added to netflix and since I don't have anything else to watch, I'm just going to watch this. I'm only on episode one, so I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. But basically, you can see something here, and then you also see it here. So I might as well watch it here, but I like to watch it on the big screen. I'm going to try the matcha one first. It smells like milk rats, and then they have a little plastic in front of this. I like that. Very soft. Mm. Mm. It's like this custard matcha filling thing. Love it. Mm. I feel like this is great for like an in between snack or like a sweet dessert because it is very sweet. I like my lunches to be more salty flavored, but it's really good. And I like the bread, it's really airy. And I came on the right day because I know my friend told me. If you go to the supermarket, you have to go on Thursdays because that's when they get a new batch of all these breads and then the next few days they will be sold out. And I came on a Thursday, so... Mm. <laughs> we'll definitely repurchase. So good. Yum yum.
I got a few packages. Let's unbox them together. The first one is from Dasik, which I've been receiving PR packages from. It's a makeup brand, which I've been loving. So this is what's in the package. Let me see what this is. It seems like it's a pencil. Wait, what? Like if you pull it out, it's like a... I don't know what it is. Is it an applicator? What does this mean? <gasps> Are these lip balms? Wait, this is a lip balm applicator for sure. I recognize it, but it's like I've never had it in this type of weird thing. I love that. There's four shades. Fruity lip balm. Oh my god. They have it in cherry jam, apple jam, peach jam and apricot jam so there's four fruit lip balms and they are like in different types of shapes let me open one this is the peach jam don't focus on my face very cute packaging it reminds me of the Laneige lip balm and then you have this in here for protection Ooh, it smells good it smells a little bit like red fruit red fruit for sure so then you have this and then we have the applicator here oh my god it fell so basically you just carry around this little pen and you carry around this little jar and then you have your lip balm let me try it out right away oh it's very creamy very balmy it reminds me a lot of the Laneige one i think it applies the same the texture is the same I'm not doing this correctly because look at the position I'm in. But anyway, we get the gist of it. Love this. Thank you so much for the PR gift, Desi. So the next two packages are my Yes Style orders, which I ordered like in December. But there was one item that just couldn't get in stock. So that was kind of holding up the delivery. So I literally got it in end of March. I shared it on my Instagram a while ago already, but you guys probably either haven't seen it or you forgot. So it's the first package. It's all self-care products. The first thing is the Enhoney Melty Mo Moist Repair Hair Oil. I've heard good things about this. Then I also needed a new shampoo. So I got the Enhoney Deep Moist Shampoo. I hope this one is going to work for my head. Because I feel like my other shampoo is just not doing what it has to do anymore. Then we got the annual hard leaf pore control cleansing oil but i actually already got this in another yes style package for a giveaway so i'll probably give this one to my best friends then i have another shampoo from vino vino premium touch shampoo and this is a very well-known brand from japan so i figured shampoo is something you always gonna need so i got this and i love the bottle the bottle looks so fancy so fancy that's the first box. Second box, we have the conditioner, also from the Vino Vino line, the Premium Touch conditioner, because I like to use a duo. Then I got the very viral hair mask. This is a Vino Premium Touch hair mask. I've heard really good stories about it. My hair can definitely use a little bit of an oomph. I've been growing out my hair a lot, so this is a lot of my natural hair. But I feel like I just need a little bit more of that glow to it. And then I guess I got it twice. I've ordered this so long ago, I cannot even remember. But I guess I got it twice. And the last thing is this, which seems very, very big. It's the Anua Hard Leaf Soothing Toner. And I actually have been using this one already. Because I also got this in my giveaway YesStyle Anywa package and I actually love this one so I'm glad that I got a big pack of this one and that's all that I ordered from YesStyle love 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 I'm gonna take a cute picture for the gram and also for my thumbnail something that I sometimes forget when I'm vlogging is to make pictures for my thumbnails because if I don't do that then I end up with a very sketchy looking thumbnail and I feel it definitely is not cute to click on so people tend to not watch the vlogs if my thumbnail looks a little bit iffy so i need to put a little bit more effort into that which i've been trying and after that i have to put the laundry in and then get back to work because we're working from home we're not just chilling we're just chilling during the lunch break today's unboxing let's step up the hair game love these bottles are such a cute duo i love that
we're doing a whitewash today and I like to just use these pots I think it's easier you just pop them in here and then you put the whitewash on top of it basically I love it when I'm at home and I have like these nice snacks that I can eat when I'm feeling a little tired during work. So I bought this at the Japanese supermarket yesterday or it's a Japanese Korean supermarket actually. And this is the pear juice pear something from Korea. And I love this one. I always get it when I'm in Dusseldorf, but they also had it at this supermarket. So obviously I had to get myself one. Just a little can. I love it to so just have a little drinky drink when I'm working, a little drinky drink. And then I also have my snacks, of course. These are just Lay's natural chips, which are one of my favorites. So now I can snack a little bit while I'm working and that will kind of break up this long work day for me. A little bit of ASMR, ASMR. <laughs> Oh, and then also... What should I have? It's nice and cold. Mm. A little bit of chips. Mm. So I was telling you guys earlier how my day was going to consist of me trying to figure out what is the problem for something in my work to not be working the way it should be working. And I'm like close to finding out what the problem is, but I cannot kind of copy and paste the solution that we already built in the other app. Cause that's basically what we're doing. We're building another app and the app is very similar to the first app that we built, but it's not one-on-one. -on -one. So I have a lot of custom things that I need to do in the app that I'm building right now. And right now I'm seeing that there's a lot of logic on the one side that I cannot reuse on my side because it's not necessary to have all that logic sitting there. So I want to slim, slim, slim. So I want to simplify it, but simplifying is going to take me a lot of brain work as well because I need to figure out what is it affecting and where does it have to go? And is this the solution for me? Like, is this is in my head what I'm thinking that the solution is gonna be is that actually the solution so I have to just like it's trial and error I'm gonna build it and then I'm gonna test it and see if that's the solution for me for our side and it's a little sad because normally we would like to keep it the same on both sides but for this it just cannot be because it's just so different in that sense so that's what I'm struggling with right now but that's why I like to have a little afternoon snacky to energize myself a little bit again and when you're at home you can just you know be in your comfort zone and eat and snack a little because when i'm at the office i'm obviously not gonna sit there and eat chips at the office that's like weird <laughs> mm. something else that i do like to do which i haven't been doing today because i've just been so focused on my work is that i like to watch vlogs while i'm working which means that I'm not actually watching the vlogs, I'm just listening. Or I'm not even listening, I'm just hearing it as background noise or background sounds. And I love that. It just gives me a like peaceful, peaceful atmosphere rather than just having no sounds around me at all. I've also recently gone to my whole subscription list because I was like subscribed to I think over 200 channels. But I noticed that a lot of them I either don't watch at all or they were just like company what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? What do you call it? Company channels and company channels like K-pop company channels, they push out a lot of content that I don't watch, but it's just going to be all the way up in my subscription tab on YouTube. And that's going 
it's gonna you know not be nice to look at because i always like to go to my subscription tab and then just see which one of my favorite youtubers has new vlogs and i'm really focused on like watching vlogs that really give me a lot of new information but also at the same time motivates me to also vlog myself and edit my vlogs because i love watching their vlogs and that motivates me a lot so i've been just unsubscribing a lot of channels that i were like either they were not active at all anymore so it could be that they are mutuals of mine but that they just don't do youtube anymore at all so i just also unsubscribed because i'm pretty sure they're not going to be active again and then i also unsubscribed to channels that i just don't watch because i like to have my subscription tab like fully focused on things that i actually do watch so there's like a lot of fun vloggers or youtubers that i like to watch right now and now i can just like keep up with who's posting what and then just watch those so i felt like i really needed that youtube cleanse definitely did me well and now when i watch vlogs while i'm working it's just a lot more focused on people that i actually love to watch but i do skip on the vlogs that i actually need to like where i want to like know every move that my favorite youtuber is making those vlogs i leave for like later in the evening when i'm having dinner or something then i can just focus on that vlog but there's also a lot of vloggers that do like more of the silent ones more of the asmr ones where they just have a lot of music and just not a lot of talking and they are just doing their daily lives i like to have that as like a background thing so it seems like we're simultaneously living our best lives you know Anyway, those were my thoughts on YouTube, which is my current favorite platform right now, if you couldn't tell already, because I'm very active on here. Love making vlogs, love watching vlogs, and I hope everyone enjoys watching my vlogs as well. Anyway, that was it for my little break. Back to working. I always have my little blanket when I'm working because I tend to get cold. Even though it's like warm in my house, I just tend to be cold for some reason so i like to be cozy when i work from home which you cannot really do when you're at the office i can't really be going around and sitting there with a blanket so most of the times at the office i am quite cold and chilly but at home we're free to sit at work however we want as long as we're doing our work obviously <laughs> finished for today it's weekends i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy i can now go since i'm already home i can go and start making dinner right away so for dinner i'm having raw marinated crab which my sister made and i also have seaweed again because i went to the japanese how many times have i said that today i went to the japanese oriental yesterday and i got myself some seasoned seaweeds and i love to eat this with my dinners so we're gonna have to make rice to eat with the raw marinated crab and i'm gonna go and do that right now but before i'm gonna do that i need to empty the dishwasher <laughs> So the rice is being cooked right now. This is the only thing that I actually have to prepare for dinner. And I think it takes about 20 minutes for my rice to be finished. So we can go on to our next test. Remember that I did laundry. So I need to put this away first before I can hang my new laundry. Thank you. 
The last task before I'm gonna have dinner is change my sheets because it's that time again. And I have to admit, this is probably my least favorite chore out of all. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So we're grabbing our sheets that we're gonna change it with. I love these drawers that I have in my closet. Like this, you can customize this whole closet. And I just love these little drawers. They feel cozy. We're changing back to white sheets. Let's go. Oh. So I recently saw on TikTok that people are vacuuming their mattresses because as you can see I don't have a mattress cover which I do need to purchase but I was just wondering if I'm gonna vacuum mine if it's gonna show how much is coming off and there's actually so much coming off my mattress so before I get a mattress cover I will just be vacuuming my mattress basically so this is basically your reminder to vacuum your mattress because there's a lot of dirt coming out of it. This is my dinner for tonight. So we got freshly cooked rice, raw marinated crepe. Here we have the kimchi radish and I cut up some tasty salty oiled seaweed to combine it. Let's eat. Here we have the first bite. Let's do a little taste test. Mm. Mm. Wow. Delicious. Love it. Love it. Also a little bit of kimchi radish. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. I'll be having my dinner, watching my K-drama, and that's how I'm gonna end today's work from home day. After this, I will just be editing my vlog that will go live on Sunday, which will be my taking a passport photo for my new passport vlog. So if you haven't checked that out yet, they are on my channel. Thank you as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vlog as well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!